It's mid-afternoon two weeks ago on the Cregan estate in Derry. The police have made two arrests under the Terrorism Act and say they found a gun in a field. Armoured Land Rovers, camera aloft, watch on. As an emboldened hooded teenager takes aim, first with stones and then part of a tree trunk. Later, peering into the Land Rover, we spot Paddy Gallagher, the bespectacled spokesman for the dissident Republican group, Siru. What were you doing by that Land Rover? Were you trying to talk to the police? Were you talking to the no, police? No, no. Um, I don't engage with members of the British Crown Forces at all. Um, I was merely observing what was happening on that day. W what do you think of the police? I think they're an occupying force within Ireland. The police claim Siru is the political voice of the new IRA, a dissident Republican terror group opposed to the peace process behind this explosion in Derry earlier this year and the killing in April of the journalist Lyra McKee. The new IRA later said their intended target had been the police. It was Siru's Derry office where friends of Lyra McKee made their protest. Siru claims it has no link to the new IRA. Does Siru condemn the actions of the new IRA over what happened with Lyra McKee? Well, any loss of civilian life is always a tragedy. That's been said by the party. That hasn't answered my question. Do you, do you condemn the new IRA over what happened? I condemn any loss of civilian life. Craigan has long been a tight-knit Republican stronghold. Overlooking Derry, it's home to several thousand families, overwhelmingly Catholic, working class, and harboring many a hope for a united Ireland. As elsewhere in Northern Ireland, it typifies a peace process still in places laced with contradictions and at times bloodshed. Not far from where Lyra McKee was killed, we meet some of the youth workers trying hard to shape a new future for Cregan. How is it, I ask, in 2019, that a group so roundly condemned as the new IRA still finds some support here? How do they have support? Yes. It baffles me, I'm not sure. Don't, I don't know. I think the history, uh, the reputation, the low aspirations, of the people from here, kind of drive them to that, well, I have no other choice, I have nothing else to lose, so I'll join these groups. There are, there are other choices, right? <laughs> There's always a choice. They join these groups to try and make money, try and have a bit of fun for power, they try and pretend to be someone, they try and think that they represent the community when they don't. Like they, they still have power because like and people still want to join them because once you join them like you're not gonna get like messed away, like no one's gonna like sign on like you're safe if you're in that group. Trying to grasp how a group like the new IRA occupies a place in an estate like this isn't straightforward. Yes, there'll be those who identify with their violent ideology, there'll be those who have nothing but contempt for it. But then there are those with more complex, more layered sentiments, more rooted, perhaps, in the realities of day-to-day -day life here. Take, for instance, the new IRA and others targeting the likes of drug dealers and joyriders. For some, it's a side of paramilitarism easier to stomach. In Cregan last month, joyriders appeared near a funeral. This, their uninvited tribute, apparently, to a local 18-year-old who died after the stolen car he was in crashed and caught fire. Tension between the gang of joyriders and locals led to fights. And where the police, often accused of being heavy-handed, held back, new IRA members, it suspected, later stepped in leaving one teenager hospitalised with puncture wounds to his shins and calm, as one resident put it, restored to the estate. 
why didn't you go in? Uh, again, no, th these are complex tactical decisions. We've been criticised whenever we do deploy, criticised when we don't, and the, lots of thought goes into the decisions on any given occasion to police and operations. Uh, and I've quite openly stated I, I can't go any further. No, there's learning that we can take from that as an organisation, and we have done. In parts of Northern Ireland, the complexities of policing under a routine terror threat endure. This is a proud, vibrant community, where in a lunchtime concert lies the more typical face of Cregan life. She could be my star, shining in the light. Oh, look at you, Brian. And when you go looking for views on how much support the new IRA really has here, opinions can differ markedly. They have very little support, if any. To be honest with you, everybody, nobody wants them anymore, or nobody wants the days I got. This one I love now, in peace. What do people around here feel about a group like the new IRA? Uh, probably 50-50, to be honest with you. say so, look at What do you mean 50-50? Half's for it, and probably half's not for it. Like. Just, just depends on people's views are and things. Like. But why can the new IRA still recruit? One of those trying to steer teenagers in a different direction claims there's a readily exploitable climate. I think what's happening is that people are frustrated and that frustration then tends to come out and this is the North Ireland. It always comes out in a very particular way. And, and Frustration about what? Frustration about everything. The, the benefit system, for example, lack of employment, lack of educational opportunities for the kids. So there's a peace process, that's a success, right? <laughs> Yes, well, of course, we're not. There isn't daily bombings and shootings. Yes, there's a success, but there has to be a dividend to that. It is a recurring theme for some that, despite successful schools and pockets of investment, Cregan remains a place apart. Neglected economically, failed politically, is the accusation, and thus vulnerable to the propaganda of extremists. Oh, yeah. Peace symbol. Connell McFeely runs Craigan's Social Enterprise Park. The problem with this particular community, it has suffered generations of economic discrimination and that has not been altered. And organisations who believe that our particular problem results from the partition of Ireland, right, will feed in to that narrative and simply saying nothing's really changed. That gives them legitimacy in their terms to continue their armed actions. And then there is Derry's ever-present, unresolved past. Further fuel for the dissident's fire. Six of the bloody Sunday dead were from this estate. Craigan Estate lies on the side of a hill looking across to the old walls of Derry City. And when we watch this early Troubles footage and the debris of conflict amassed by the Bradleys at number 12, one line especially stood out. Four of their children are married and away. But the other 14, until last week, still all lived at home. The 18 Bradley children left the house long ago, we discover. But this family, like so many others, remains consumed by history. Two of the siblings, Danny and Etta, tell of one brother killed in a hit and run during the Troubles, another when his car collided with an army vehicle, and another, 19 and in the IRA, shot dead by the army. And the unquest. It was told that he uh, it took one hour and 40 minutes for him to die. Even now, nearly 50 years on, a fresh inquest is examining claims he was unarmed when killed. I believe that if the British government basically says, OK, here's all the truth, and we apologise sincerely, I think that could be a step forward. I mean, but the fact that the lies and the deceit on you know, then basically it leaves uh, fuel and for Republicans to say, look, we haven't achieved our goal. So still the past here lingers like a wound unable to heal and still the future's imagined through the lens of resistance for some. A rifle now be laid on behalf of the Air Brigade of the Irish Republican Army.
This commemoration for a former provisional IRA man was led by Paddy Gallagher and included other Siru activists. Do you not think what the new IRA are involved in is a futile exercise? What's, Again, it, what's, what's it going to achieve? It's, it's left one young woman dead, another with blood on his hands for the rest of his life. What is the point? That's something only the IRA can answer. And do you have a view on that? I don't. Many in Cregan want help to shake off the horrors of the recent past, to further marginalise the gunmen in their midst. But the abject failure of Northern Ireland's devolved politics continues and Brexit looms precariously. If this is another UK community being left behind, as many here claim, then the danger posed by those willing to exploit it, as Lyra McKee's death shows, could hardly be more stark. <laughs>